Okay, welcome back to Differential Calculus. This is uh, Lesson 2 of Basic Derivatives. And um, we're still covering uh, different, uh, differentiation of polynomials. So um, if you didn't follow on from the first video, you can go back and watch that if you, if you feel the need. We'll be covering uh, the last problems in this uh, section here. Um, so we've covered A and C. Uh, B was for yourself. You can try that on your own. And we'll be moving on now. Okay, we'll start off with a reminder of the um, definition of a derivative, and that is f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f at x plus h minus f at x, all divided by h. So uh, we're going to move on to problem 3 now, and uh, it, it's asking us to find the derivative where the original function is 12x squared plus 7x plus 36. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so in order to find out f prime of x, we need f of x plus h. That's there. Just plug in x plus h wherever you see an x. It turns into that. If you uh, if it's going too fast, just pause it and try to figure it out for yourself. And uh, so now we have all everything we need, and all we got to do now is plug what we have into the definition of the derivative. Okay, so we have everything we need. We've plugged it into the definition of the derivative. Look at the bottom line, that's where we should be right now. We see some similar terms on top, which will eventually cancel out with each other. So we're going to do that right now. This is the result. We're left with f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of all of this. Now notice the h is on top and bottom. They will cancel out, leaving us with the limit as h approaches 0 of 24x plus 12h plus 7. We can't take this any further, so we apply the limit right now. The limit only affects terms with an h, and we're left with 24x plus 7. So to sum up what we've figured out, we were asked what the derivative of 12x squared plus 7x plus 36 was, and we found out that it was equal to 24x plus 7. Uh, there is another way to solve problem 3, and that's just simply to break the, uh, the limit up into its parts. You know, across the uh, addition sign. Uh, so you just uh, take the limits of each separate part, and the only one it'll ever apply to is the one with an h, and you end up getting the exact same result. So maybe if it, if it helps you guys see it a little more clearly, you, you can break it up. So, uh, yep, yeah, there's a little tip there, and it, you can try that method on all the other problems too. Um, you know, as long as there's an addition sign, you can do it. All right, so moving on to the next problem. All right, so problem four is done on a single slide. Uh, there should be enough time for you to follow along, so see if you can do this one as we go along to see if you've improved a little bit. Find f prime of x, where f of x is equal to x plus two, all of that squared, which that foils out to x squared plus four x plus four. Now plugging in x plus h, wherever there is an x, and that expands to x squared plus two x h plus h squared plus four x plus four h plus four. Yes, it's very tedious, and once you learn the techniques, which you can solve these in like 15 seconds, you'll be much happier. But for now, we have to do it tediously. And then we know f of x, we plug it into the equation there in the yellow and red bracket. And then we're, we come across the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 4x plus 4h plus 4 minus x squared plus 4x plus 4. So a lot of the terms on the top will cancel, leaving us with 2xh plus h squared plus 4h on top, all of that divided by h, and of course taking the limit. And then that simplifies to the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h plus 4. The h goes to 0, and we're left with 2x plus 4. So therefore the derivative of x squared plus 4x plus 4 is 2x plus 4. Now, the method of which we achieved this answer is quite simple, and as I will show you very soon, there is a very good reason why, and it does not require this tedious method at all. Okay, so you learned the definition of a derivative. So now we're going to teach you a super awesome technique that you're going to love, and it's called the power rule. If n is any real number, it follows that if f of x equals x to the power of n, then f prime of x, the derivative, and the slope equals n times the times x to the power of n minus 1. 
So recall from problem 2, f of x was equal to 8x squared, where n was equal to 2, as you can see. If you use the power rule, the 2 comes down, multiplies into the 8, 2 from 1 is 1, 16x to the power of 1 is 16x. Alright, so now that we know the power rule, we should be able to take on problem 5 without much of a problem. f of x is equal to the square root of x cubed, which can be rewritten as x to the power of 3 halves, which is also equal to x to the power of 1.5. So we know that n is 1.5, we bring down 1.5, we multiply it by x, it, that's to the power of 1.5 minus 1, which is a half, so we obtain 1.5 times x to the power of a half. And the power of a half is also a square root, and that's rewritten as 1.5 root x. Uh, the follow-up of this video here will be the graphical interpretations of some of the problems, and uh, possibly some mathematical applications such as uh, find the slope of the line at a given point. So stay tuned for part three.